Welcome back to a twisted little corner of the internet where spirals aren't just for cinnamon rolls, they are for nightmares. Today we are diving into the final episode of Uzumaki where things somehow get even more spirally than before. I mean seriously, who knew spirals could ruin lives? Let's find out. The episode kicks off with three unlucky news reporters from Toyo TV driving through a spooky tunnel on their way to Kurozu town, only to get hit by, you guessed it, a giant hurricane. Only Chie, our solo survivor, emerges from the wreckage. As she stumbles into town, she notices something strange, spirals everywhere. Even her breath starts swirling which is a red flag in a town already known for being spiral crazy. Luckily, Chie bumps into our heroine Kiri and her squad. But just as you think, hey, maybe things will calm down, Chie notices these typhoon humans running around causing chaos. They are called the Butterfly Gang. But let me tell you, they are not here to chase rainbows. Nope, they are out here making mini whirlwinds just to mess with people. Imagine being so bored in the apocalypse that that's what you come up with. Kiri's like, oh yeah, by the way, don't move too fast, you might start a whirlwind. No biggie, just creep along like a snail to avoid total disaster. Apparently, this whole situation is linked to the six typhoons that got sucked into a local whirlpool pond, now called Dragonfly Pond. Chie being all scientific calls it a butterfly effect. Which is funny because we have got literal butterfly humans running around. The crew finally reaches a herd only to be told by the town folk. Sorry, no room Sorry, at the inn. No Kiri's like, excuse me, we live there first. Shuichi meanwhile is in the corner muttering something like spirals, spirals everywhere. Because someone's gotta be the guy who's always on the edge of a mental breakdown. But not ice, so they get kicked out. As they wander the town, they run into the dragonfly gang, formerly known as the butterfly gang because you gotta evolve right anyway these guys are just casually grilling some snail people yeah you heard me snail people they even offer some to kiri and the gang like hey wanna try some kiri's like hard pass but then the gang attacks them things spiral out of control but thankfully switchy pulls that last minute save and the dragonfly gang gets sucked into the pond karma's real folks Later, they meet some volunteers including a guy named Tanizaki who are stuck in the town because every time they try to leave, they end up right back where they started. Classic horror movie problem. Tanizaki mentioned they even considered escaping by sea but then they saw another group get swallowed by, you guessed it, a giant whirlpool. So yeah, that plan's off the table. Eventually, they come across a row house where, surprise, it's full of people who again won't let them in. When they try to force their way inside, they are greeted by a scene straight out of a nightmare. People all tangled up like human pretzels. It's like the spiral curse has turned them into an abstract art piece that you definitely don't want hanging on your wall. With rescue ships getting swallowed by whirlpools and food running out, things go from bad to worse. The group's so desperate, even Shuichi, who's been relatively sane this whole time, eats a snail person. Yep, the survival instinct kicks in hard when you are stuck in a spiral-themed apocalypse. You gotta do what you gotta do, right? After the shelter debacle, Kiri's squad heads out. But wait, Mitsuo's back starts spiraling too. Just when you think it can't get worse, they run into some creepy villagers. Guess what? These guys are now chowing down on one of their own like it's a buffet. Kiri's group is like nope and tries to escape, but Mitsuo is turning into a snail. So Shuichi heroically carries him until midway through. Mitsuo fully transforms. That's right, our boy Mitsuo is now a giant snail on the run. Good luck getting into college like that. Shuichi and Kiri have no choice but to leave snail Mitsuo behind, which is devastating. But hey, if you had a friend who was turning into a giant mollusk, you'd probably make some tough choices too. With Mitsuo behind them, Kiri and Shuichi head back to the village only to find that the whole place is basically a giant spiral now. They run into Tanizaki who casually mentions someone's been making pottery at the center of this madness because when your village is cursed, why not throw some clay? Kiri, thinking it's her dad, rushes to the center but plot twist, Chie gets spiral snatched before they can get there. No time to mourn though because the curse is spiraling out of control. Finally, they reach the epicenter of the spiral curse and find out that these gigantic spiral ruins are actually alive. Yup, just your typical ancient ruins with a mind of their own situation. Shuichi being the romantic he is tells Kiri to run and save herself, but Kiri's like, Bitches come and go, but you know I stay. Bitches come and go, but you know I stay. And so they embrace their fate as the spiral ruins close in on them and consume the entire village. But wait, there's more. After the credits, we see that years later, a new town has popped up right on top of the ruins. New people, new train station, same old spirally curse waiting to ruin lives all over again.
And that's a wrap. Finally, this weird and creepy spiral anime has come to an end. Honestly, I don't think I could have watched more of this madness. Uzumaki is hands down the weirdest anime I've ever seen. And I'm just glad it only had 4 episodes. As for a potential season 2, well, let's just say I'm not exactly rushing to watch it, if it ever happens. <laughs>